What's up, peeps? This is Sonic Adam 2, and welcome to my Sonic Adam 2 tutorial number 3 for you all. Now, this tutorial I'm going to show you guys is uh, how to set up a mutant. If you've never heard of the mutant before, it's best if you look up, type in the mutant and see what find out what it is. But, but yeah, you know, that all that, just, just, let's just get into the tutorial. So, yeah, first thing you go to do is, is just get the uh, screen pack of the mutant. So, like, for example, I just downloaded the, uh, the Enemy Sephir 1.0 screen pack made by, made, uh, made by, <laughs> and by NAS screen pack. And, uh, basically you could just download the original, or you could just download the custom version of the Enemy Sephir screen pack made by NAS. So, yeah, you gotta click here in this, in this, the, uh, description link. But I'm not gonna download that because I already downloaded that for this particular tutorial. So, and what you're gonna do for your characters is basically you need to go to like a certain mutant characters website. Like you go to the uh, the mutant free for all is a good one, and ba and mutant mutant infantry is a good one, and I'll and I'll provide that in the script in the description link as well, so you guys know. And the uh, go to the mutant wiki which which is the all basically for all the basic of the uh, main with the uh, main street of the uh, popular characters and, and you know that just uh, stuff and uh yeah and all that stuff so basically just pick any character uh, you want from this uh the mutant wiki and then once that's done you got basically just uh, download a character like uh and also, just for the sake of it, you gotta need a win wall or a win zip with this one. So, like for example, I just downloaded the uh, two two volunteer characters for this tutorial. I have is a CM Punk and a Squall Leon Heart. and I just downloaded the stage just for the sake of it. Tutorial. So now, now all you're gonna do is just uh, set up a the enemy Sophia screen pack mutant, and, ba and basically just make her two files into the source folder and basically just uh, go open up the uh, CM Punk and I'm gonna just extract it to uh, into the uh, ch oh no not that the uh, CM Punk in the number one file you know, that just yes. One sec. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we have here. Alright, uh, there we go. Called punk. Now, be sure that it has to be identical to the uh, .def file. Just be sure of that. That it has to be identical. And and next one I'm gonna do is squall Leon Hot. I'm gonna extract that to the to file folder number two, which is going to be squally on heart, and then with that, just go to squall. Just cop copy that name. Just paste it. In, oh, dub and. Paste it here. Like I said, it has to be identical to the .def file. No mistakes at all. And then the, you gotta go to the uh, sound. Why do you have to need to go to sound file? Because some of these stages include the uh, music files. So like I'm gonna extract the uh, the music file into the uh, the uh, sound file and uh, and extract the sound file into the sound file. Same thing with the uh, the status. I'm basically doing this with a keyboard and headset, just to let you guys know. Okay, so I can't be fiddling around with it too much. So, anyways, stage file. Same thing to a SFF file. Let's see, there we go. And uh, uh, status. Same thing too. I'll give it at that. 
and then once you have that, you, you, you see there's a sound that the music file for any particular stages that includes music and uh, there are the two stages and then once that's done you basically just get rid of all the files because it because you no know, this is just junk files after that folks just to give you a tip okay all right uh all right once that's done you gotta go to the uh, the data folder Okay, gotta go to the uh, select.def. Gotta basically just copy the name. This basically copy over here. No, you know what? Swap that. Let's see, scroll Leon Hart first. That's volume 10, number one. And we're just going to be CM Punk, number two. Now, now, if you want, don't know how to use this uh, status, you just go scroll down here. And just basically, find where it says insert your status below. Now, I'm going to go back into the stage folder and just basically copy the name of that. And then, and then I will give you guys in a sec. Yeah, sorry folks, it's just gonna take some time before I can swap it again. Cause you no, know, it is pain in the ass for me. Okay, sometimes. Alright, ba right, now that's. Okay, and so basically you just click here and just type. Just hit enter. And then all you're gonna do is just type down stages forward slash and just. And then you press control and V to paste it. And then just dot d e f. And now again, okay, okay. It's basically all that status is now done. Just be sure that everything all set. Well then. Be sure to hit save and just close that. I'm basically going to the uh, mutant, so it might be like uh, it might be sometimes it might be way up. So you might want to turn down the speakers or uh, anything that just just us. Sometimes it's not that loud, but it's but sometimes just to give you guys a quick tip if you're basically not what you're watching this particular tutorial. And we've got to wait for Mutant to load up. Alright then. Alright, let's see here. Yeah. Watch mode. And basically, just uh. Yeah. Uh, okay, you have to. Instead of two characters in there. And. It's going to be CM Punk. Uh, and, and there you have it. These two characters, and then you have one stage at it. So. You know what? Yeah. Just to give you, show you guys a quick tip tutorial. So yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. So, yeah. This is gonna be like a quick demo beauty stuff because this is a tutorial. So therefore, sometimes I can't commentate because you know this is a t because you know th this is a tutorial. You know. Like that CM Punk is choking there. It's probably on hot. Yes. It looks like CM Punk just chokes at the Scrolly on hot. Yes. Let's see. The CM Punk put it. Yes. Scrolly on hot about the latest shots. That's what it gets. Interrupted. Yes. Yes. 
point. This looks like CM Punk putting a beat down on Squall Leon, huh? Jeez. Hm. Jeez. It gee, looks like that CM Punk just take down Squall Leon, huh? 2 0. Jeez. So yeah, that's basically how it goes, folks. Yeah, yeah, that's how you set up your mutant thingy going. If I just exit here. Again, I'm just gonna close this here. And that is how you set up a mutant, folks. Well, anyways, this is Sonic M2 doing this to tutorial number three. And I will see you all later in my next Sonic Adam 2 tutorial number four. Where we're basically doing something next before I can show you the next t tutorial number four. And I will show you something in my next something in my Sonic Adam 2 tutorial number 4. And if you do like this video so far, please like this video, be sure to give a comment, see what you think, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Well anyway, this is Sonic Adam 2 doing this, doing this tutorial number 3, and I will see you all later in my Sonic Adam 2 tutorial number 4. This is Sonic Adam 2, signing out peeps.